Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad. All we need is some clapping now, see? That's all we need now is some clapping. Uh, we're back at it. And what I have done, I've, we've seen what we did yesterday. We cut the top of the door off. We cut the post out. Cut the drip rail molding off. You've seen how long it took. I, did do, I didn't do anything other than what I did to that side. I come over this side. I hit it with the zip cut. Cut the post out. Cut the top of the door off. I think I cut the top of the door off yesterday on this one, did I not? I cut the post out on this one, and then I cut the drip rail molding off. So I did nothing but what I showed you yesterday, and I didn't put no more into it, no more, no less, no more. But uh, today we're going back at it again. And as as I get thinking about things, you know, as you know, as you do things, you think about things. Um, keep yourself busy, and that's how. In life, I keep myself busy. I keep them idle hands working on something like this in my brain. That way there, I'm not thinking bad thoughts. I always have good thoughts because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. And that's why I say it's good to get in the garage and build cars and be busy because idle hands are the devil's broth. When you have time to sit and think, sometimes it can go the other way. If you do not give yourself time, <laughs> then, then you're always thinking good stuff. But as I was thinking about the car, um, I'm that meme on, on uh, the computer where, you know, your girlfriend thinks you're thinking bad things. And, no, I'm thinking about how to chop the car. <laughs> Basically, that's about it. As I look at this and I mark that line on there, <clears throat> I don't want that there. I'd have to take this here past the door and then have around there. I don't, I don't want this. When I take this, you, as you can see there, if I keep it to the top of this line here, I don't want this curled part a part of there because of the window because of the window it would be hard to get something up inside there with that curl back on that so what I'm thinking is I would want it right about there you know I mean that way there at least you can get you could get a window to go up inside or even up a little bit further then then it starts instead of starting here like this and having that swoop back I don't want that swooping back there like that so if I started up here I'd have it and it would just go like that um, as I get looking at this piece, <clears throat> I want it to move that forward. Well, to be, like, to be honest with you, if I move this all forward and try to put it up on that post, then I've got to make something up here. Uh, I don't want to make anything there. I've got the top of the doors that fit it perfectly, so that's what I'm going to use as the top of the doors there instead. So I've kind of changed it up a bit in my brain because i got looking at it. I don't want that. I don't like this. Uh, I like it but I don't need it for this application. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and cut the roof. I'm going to chop the roof is what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop this part. And when, when I chop this part and bring the, the front of the roof down, and that means that I'm going to use less of this in the back here because I'm going to have to chop this, so I'm going to have to cut up here to make it fit the chop, if you can understand what I'm trying to say. If I chop the front, well, that means I'm going to have to chop the back, and I would chop the back and take it off here, and then I could start up there where I want it to be. Also, I like a chopped car. I really do. I'm just a sucker for a chopped car. Um, and as I look at this, is the, this is how I'm going to chop it. I'm go I like chopping my cars heavy. I, I like chopping them heavy. Um, I don't know if, if four is going to be heavy, but I think four um, is going to give me basically what I'm looking for, a nice chop looking car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the front and I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to drop this down. And then my plan is to get the top of the door. Then I'll end up cutting the front of this, the front of this door, this, this off here, I'm thinking. And then I'm going to use it up in here. I'm going to weld it up in here. And then I can pull my piece of head and connect it on so it's, it comes up with the door. Um, I'm hoping that, yeah, we'll, let's, we'll just go with it for now. There's too much, I don't want to explain too much because I changed my mind so much, you know, but uh, we'll just do it. Um, on, on this chop, I, I don't like to confuse anything. I don't like to get out the measuring stick. I don't like to do all that sort of stuff. I just go by tape. Um, if I got some tape, then I'll put one round of tape on this side. I put one round of tape on that side. I put... It's basically that simple. If I want to do three inches, I'll do two, you know, a two-inch tape, and I'll take a, uh, a one-inch tape and do it that way. I don't um, want to get into a measuring stick and trying to figure it all out. Basically, I just want to chop it off and put it back on. So what I'm going to do is, this is two-inch tape. 
try not to confuse anything. Just two inch tape. So if I put two ravels around it, I'm going to say that it's a four inch chop. I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? <laughs> I'm your man, bad Chad. And there was no clapping. On <laughs> Baby laughing at me. Um, we watch a little family feud at nighttime. That's all, little Steve Harvey. You know, I'm your man. But anyways, <laughs> it, it's a good program to watch before you go to bed. It makes you happy. makes you laugh. Um, people give up some crazy answers sometimes, just like our YouTube channel. gives up some crazy answers sometimes. Um, you can see on, on the post here, I, I want to go in the center of the post where it's going to come back and meet together. That's where I'd want to chop it. You know, I want it to come back together the best it can. So I would chop it in the middle of the post where I think it's going to come back together again and then you can see in here you know right about there somewhere looks like the best to me that's the straightest area is from there to there so why not just take a piece of tape and go around it like that that's all I'm doing I'll take another piece oh there goes your safety glasses sweetheart and I'm going to try to keep it on I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see there's your safety glasses sweetheart Jolene's looking amazing this morning. She's ready to help me chop this thing. If I need a hand, she's going to help me. Uh, I'm just going to take the tape, lay it on top of that like that, match it up all the way around. And you must, you must admit, like, um, there's nothing better than that, than, than having, having the tape do your, do your measuring for you. I didn't have to do anything other than put the tape on. So that did the measuring. I'm in the straight area. I think I'm coming back together again. So I'm saying I'm going to chop it four inches. I'm not even going to go over and, and, and uh, try to measure up the distance on this because this is what I'm saying. If I, if I cut it four inches on that side and I cut it four inches on that side, if I have it down a quarter inch on this side, the tape down a quarter inch on this side, what, what would it matter? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. It's still four inches and it's still coming back together. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we're just going to go where the straightest part. We're looking at the straightest part. That's all we're doing. Looking at the straightest part. And we'll try to adjust it best we can. You know, just looking over there. Just a, a guide. Just going to do it. I want to make it the same sort of just looking at it I'm going to go up a little higher I'm going to go up a little higher and here I said I wasn't worried about it but uh, I just want to go up a little bit higher to make it the same I don't have my marker if I can get it somewhere the same would be the best same baby Good. That looks better. Huh. Anyways, we'll take our tape, do the same thing. So this is a four inch chop because we got two inches, we got four inches of tape, and uh, that's what we're going by. So if I cut on top that line, that line, put it back down on, we have a four inch chop. When we chop the roof, there's, there's the issue. When the chop the roof and it's on an angle like this, you must realize when I chop it, the roof pulls forward. It's, you know, this piece here has got to come forward here, so it pulls the roof ahead. Uh, that's where, you know, it gets some people sometimes. Um, I'm going to chop it four inches, obviously, because I've got two rolls of tape. Uh, when I'm going to cut it behind right here at the door post here I'm going to cut it right there at the door post uh, on the front of the door post and it's going to pull that ahead a little bit you know it's going to basically it's going to pull it ahead I don't know two three inches it's not going to pull it the full four but uh, it'll pull it ahead a little bit we're going to weld a piece of square stock down here to hold the roof up when I lay it down just make it easier on me and Jolene uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to take a marker and make a mark I'm just making a mark to go cost, cut across all the way across the roof. I have a lot of, mark, a lot of markers down at the house. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to cut it right here in front of the post. I don't want to get into this post here, so I'll just make sure I go up through here. You want to take a look? I'm going to go on this side right here. You make it easier, a lot less to cut. So I'm just going to make a mark. And I'm going to try to go on the other side and do the exact same thing on the other side. And basically with me cutting this roof and lowering the front allows me to get rid of some of this. That's what I'm thinking. That's what, there's where my brain's at. There's where my brain's at. And if I'm being quiet, not saying anything, I'm probably thinking about chopping the roof. <laughs> right? Because I'm busy. I'll get another piece of tape. We'll run a piece of tape across the top. We are going to introduce our new plasma cutter from Lincoln. They were so kind to say, you use Lincoln a lot. We want to, you know, help you out on your, on your projects and stuff like that. Um, it's the new Tomahawk Lincoln Electric Plasma Cutter. Um, they've given me the baddest machine that, I don't know, they give me a bad machine. Uh, for, because I'm saying this, it has a built-in air compressor uh, and it can just be plugged into the wall. You can use it anywhere. You do not need uh, a, a $2,000 air compressor to run your plasma cutter. We have a plasma cutter over here on the side. It's not broken yet, still have it. But I do not need to use the air compressor on this one, and we're going to try it out for the very first time and see how this bad boy works. So it has a built-in air compressor. You plug it into the wall. You cut metal. Uh, I don't know if there's any other machines like it. I don't know because I haven't been on the market. But um, Lincoln Tomahawk uh, Plasma Cutter has supplied this. We're going to use it and see how it works. And uh, I want to thank them very much for their kind gesture. For any company to jump out and, and uh, give us something like that to use on our projects, it says something about the company. It really does. It doesn't matter to me if you say they're using it for promotion, we're using it for this, using it for that. They still don't have to give us anything, and they did. So it's, I want to thank them very much. You don't see any other kind of welders in the house, do you? <laughs> right? You don't see any other kind of welders or plasma cutters in the house. So um, it tells me, tells me a lot about that company. I want, I want to get up on something so I can get up on that roof. There's a stool. I know the stool's just kind of not, I could stack them all up, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. <sighs> I had the tape on the back side. That's what I do when I shave in the morning. I take a hammer and I beat all the stubble in, and then I, then I bite it off on the back side. <laughs> <laughs> That's how tough I am. Bad Chad. Alrighty. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need a stepladder is what I need. You know what I mean? We got a stepladder close by. Mm. It would be nice, so I can get up there. I can't even cut it if I, don't, if I can't get up there. I'll just be a second. Bear with me. Bear with me. Can't even get out the door. Ah. How am I going to do that? Damn it. Wasn't prepared for that, was I? What do you think? Think I get up on this without breaking my neck? Hold my hand, sweetheart. Hold my hand. Oh, my. I, I know, hey? <laughs> I'm far enough to break my neck. I won't break my neck, but you know what I'm trying to tell you. Just trying to run a straight line, basically, across the roof. This, this, what I'm doing right here, <laughs> this is something that anybody can do, you know, just, you know, 
this is something anybody can do. I'm just chopping a roof off an old car and I'm using tape. I'm not using no measuring, no, no measuring stick, no nothing. I'm just using tape and, and a little bit of my brain. Not all of it, just a little bit of it. Now, I'm gonna start everything with a grinder. That way there I get a nice clean line to start with. So I'll start with the grinder on this. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the roof off. So I'm gonna cut the top line first and we'll cut all the way through them. We'll use a plasma cutter, the new Tomahawk Lincoln Electric. We'll use that to cut all the way through to about here. We'll use the zip cut and then we'll use the reciprocator saw. What I'm saying is to cut the top first is because when I cut the other, we, won't want to, we wouldn't want to cut it down here and then get the roof off and then try to wrestle the roof and try to cut the rest of it off. I want to cut it here and cut there, pull it off, and then I can cut this because the car is going to hold that piece, basically. Basically. We'll just do some cuts. Don't be like that. That battery fully charged. I'm trying not to push on it, but just shame because I want to use it. <laughs> I do. I want to use it. There's a center going out of that one. We'll put this one back on, I guess. Just following the tape line. Don't take very long to wreck somebody's car. Don't take very long. Just like that, cut the roof off your car. Just gonna follow the line. The nicer line you cut, the better it is, you know, for welding it back together. And that is where I come in to the coat hanger. It's stuff like that. If it's not fitting perfectly, I just grab a coat hanger, fill it in, grind it off. Um, I'm happy with doing it that way. It does not bother me in the least. I'm going to come in here and squeeze you in there, sweetheart. I'm squeezing you, is there? You're a f wow, she's a fine looking machine. And I would, you know, cut the roof off with a, with, with the grinder and zip cut. But I really feel like um, the plasma cutter doesn't cause any more heat than the zip cut. I really don't feel like it does.
Alrighty. Let's put up there a little bit more. So basically what we're doing, we're just going to lower the front of the roof so we don't have to use that curl in the back. And to make myself happy because I like a chopped car. That's what we're doing. We're chopping a car. Making a three window coupe, a two door, a two, it's called a two door sedan, I guess. A two, it's a two door. So I'm going to leave that like that. I am going to take the reciprocator saw and try to finish that where I cut it on the roof part. I'll leave the front for, it doesn't matter. It's gonna fall one way or the other. I have to get Jolene to help me. <clears throat> Just wanna see if it works. Ha <laughs> Not go that way. It's a boo boo. Get out. It jammed up already. Hurt myself now. Jesus. Well, that's the tribes and tribulations of doing cutting pairs, I guess. Okay. Yep, I'm alright. I'm alright. Happens sometimes. And uh, that's what happens when you play with old rusty cars and chop cars up. You get cut once in a while. I didn't cut myself bad, though. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm going to cut a little bit more of the zip cut. It didn't get me bad. Just scum the dog up a little bit. Ha, <laughs> scum the dog up. Same dog bit me. You know what I'm saying? Same dog bit me. Isn't that the old saying? Same dog bit me? Basically just want to get it through the roof so I can get that saw blade in there. Be good to me. That went through just that went through so well. Short cut. He's cut. Alrighty, this is the moment of truth. We're going to get out the old tomahawk plasma cutter from Lincoln. Uh, it shouldn't fall if I cut the back. It shouldn't fall because it should go against that. What I'm, I'm thinking it's going to go back and on hit on this part. It shouldn't fall. It shouldn't fall. I'm hoping it doesn't. I don't want it to. But anyways, let's, I'm just thinking about it for a second. All right, this is the 375 Tomahawk Air. Uh, what, what is going on? It's a 220 machine. It's a big machine they've sent me. It's a big machine. We're going to spread out the... This is our, I don't know what you call it, our cutting machine right here. This is the cutter right here. Um, we have a ground exactly like... Um, Exactly like anything else, like their welders, they have a ground. Let's get this cut off. Let's put my glasses on. Look at that, cut that off. It also has a three year warranty. I usually give them the, the curb and gutter warranty. That means once you get to the curb, you gutter. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is it? Alrighty. We are going to ground this bad boy machine and we are going to try it out. And I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to go this way, I think. Jolene bought the cart to hold the welder and the plasma cutter. 
She's a lovely, lovely woman she is. I'm going to go ground there. Alrighty. This, we have a dial for, I guess, maybe the heat. I guess, yeah, well, it gets bigger as it turns, so it must have more heat. We have a, a little air compressor thing going there. It says PSI, pounds per square inch, I think that stands for. Um, we have to, an on button. And it also has, if you have an air compressor and you don't want to use the onboard compressor, I'm thinking there's a, a chuck right there for the onboard, or the if you have a compressor and you don't want to use uh, the one that's in there, you can use this one here. It has one there. So it's set up for everything, really. It's set up for all your needs. How's that? It's set up for all your needs. And we're soon going to find out how this bad boy goes. I wonder if I should... Oh, little doggy bleeding. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Jolene just turned on the air compressor. Is that what you did? Yep. I'm wondering if I could use it to paint a car, too. <laughs> it's got the air compressor. Alrighty, I'm going to try this bad boy. See what happens. I'm hoping for you, Lincoln. I got my Lincoln fingers crossed. Got my fingers crossed. And he's he also got a guard on the end there where you can slide that on the metal. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, I want that piece of whatever you call it, I-beam. I want this piece of I-beam to stand on. <coughs> 375 Air Lincoln Tomahawk. Air Kaprecker. One thing I do like about it, it holds it in place. Like that, would you? I got a little squirrely up there, and that's my fault. I got a little squirrely in the middle, and the reason I got a little squirrely in the middle because I had the tape laying there. I should have just drew it marked a line, but I had the tape laying there, and when I was pulling across, the tape melted, <laughs> and I slid on the tape. So we're just going to pull this to the other side. It's quite something, eh? No air compressor. No air compressor needed. So um, if you want to cut metal, you do not need an air compressor to go with your plasma cutter because Lincoln has proved that with the Tomahawk 3, 375. 375. Just want to get a good ground. Everything dictates off the ground, does it not? I'm going to just... Oh, I don't... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit in the center. Hold it. Well done. Well done, Lincoln. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this back. I've got it cut. I think being using it for the first time got me a little nervous. Got a little squirrely in the top there, and that has nothing to do with the plasma cutter. That's got to do with me. Done that, baby. <laughs> That's got to do with me. 
there you go. No air compressor involved. It has its own air compressor and it did a beautiful job. I like, I like this. Little, little guard there so you can run that on your metal. This runs on your metal, then your tip is exactly the distance away it has to be. Nice. Nice. Alrighty. I had a little squirrely there, but that's fine. And I'm, I'm saying that that didn't hurt that roof whatsoever. Didn't hurt that roof whatsoever. There's no heat there. You know, I left a little bit to hold the roof in place. Alrighty. Um, what I'm thinking is I got four inches there, so I'm going to weld a piece of uh, square stock on this door and just hold it four inches from where the roof was. Basically. So I'm just going to take and turn on the welder. They would have really impressed me if they had the welder hooked up to it too. <laughs> so we're using a Lincoln welder. We're using a, a, one, a 140 right at the present moment. Uh, the 220 I took the cord and used for the, the the tomahawk plasma cutter. Thank you, Lincoln. We appreciate it. Um, your kind gesture will be not forgotten. Especially when I need another one. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, I need a piece of square stock. Do we have any square stock right around? Piece square stock right here. So this is what I'm thinking. Uh, when I when I pull it off, it would be nice to be able to set the roof down on something when I cut this off. It's just me and Jolene here. So uh, I'm going to measure down four inches and I'm going to tack a piece of square stock on. That's going to be trying because I've got, I should have probably weird, welded the square stock on first is what I should have done. I did. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to tack that back on for a second and zip it off with the, yeah. I ain't got a ground on yet. She did come apart. I'm gonna get a helmet on too. What the hey? It's time. Mass confusion for a second. Just hard to. Almost four inches there. I'm gonna cut a quarter inch off it and put it up. I put it up there. So I'm just gonna cut this off with the zip cut for a second. Uh, zip cut. Where did I throw that on the other side? I'm gonna guess it. Hold the grinder right, would be nice. This does not have to be right on the money because I'm just dropping the roof down for now. But you can see I'm just laying it on top of the door there. I'm going to that point right there, so you can see I got four inches. Yep. Good. It's going to move right there because the roof's going to come ahead. Uh, no gas on, probably. And the weld is turned down. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We can zip that off at any time. It's just holding us, holding the roof on. 
Zip that off. Got it in there a little ways. Good. I should have measured two of the same length and just weld the other one on the other side. And that's what I'm going to do. Marker. How long is that? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. As I'm doing this, the measure, all like the square tubing I'm cutting off and all this sort of stuff as I'm putting this on here is got, um, it can be changed at any point in time uh, for the simple fact is if I don't like what it looks like, then you change it. And that's basically what I'm saying. But what I'm doing is, is I know I'm cutting it for in the front. So why would I not cut it, like, like drop a post down there and let it go for in the back. And it might need to come up, and it might need to go down, but that's that's the game. Like, I mean, uh, I would not weld it on completely if I did not like it. So, basically, I'm just going with the flow. Get it rocking and rolling here. Come on now, baby. It's basically just going to hold it so the roof comes down, sits on top of that. It's not going to do anything other special than that. You just hold it in place. So I'm going to take this, shut this down. I'll get my groove here in a minute. I'll get my groove here in a minute. I'll get my groove on. All right, we got to, I got a little piece in the back. I'm going to cut the front completely off. Make sure that I'm, I'm pretty sure it probably is completely cut off. I'm going to get the zip, a bigger zip cut blade because I think that'll do it. Instead of getting in the, getting in the saw, and blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Don't want to do that right now. I just want to cut it off. And I think the zip cut blade's good enough. So we're almost got the front of the roof cut off. And if you're late getting here, <laughs> the reason I'm cutting, chopping the front of the roof off right at the present moment, because I'm trying to get rid of this. I want to get rid of that. I want to use it up where it comes down nice. I could use that if I didn't want to, you know, make it look like a, a window couldn't, would not fit. I could do that, but I don't want to make it look that way. I want to make it look like a window could fit. on me now. Don't follow me. That's for me and Jolene to do, isn't it, baby? Yeah. We'll just stick that back there like that. We got a nice clean cut there. I'm happy with that. Nice clean cut. I'm going to get a haircut soon. Jolene's going to cut my hair for me, ain't baby? Yeah. Huh? Hoping I can get that cut without jamming anything up. And I did. Alrighty. I'm going to gotta cut the part of the roof. Do you wanna help me for a sec, baby? You're gonna have to put your camera down. Baby's gonna put her camera down. I'm gonna have to get up here and cut this roof. I'm going to take and go to the other side. I'm going to grab that piece I can step on. We got the lovely Miss Jolene going to help me today. She's going to jump in and give me a hand. She's going to put some gloves on because she's seen me get a metal char in the wrist. So basically what's going to happen is um, I'm going to cut it and then we'll just walk it 
actually, we can just set it down. We can just take and set it down on that, and we can set the front post right on top of the door. Okay, so we don't want to even pick it off. We'll just pick it up, pick the back up, and just run, let it come down a little bit. Let, the, let this post sit here on top of the door, and then we'll let that up there sit on that, if we can. Yeah. And if not possible, we'll do something else, won't we? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, I'm just going to cut this on the loose here now. Got your side. You want to stand up on your... So it's not going anywhere, so we're yeah. just holding it in place, okay? Yeah. Don't push, just don't push out, just leave it right there at that. All righty. We're cut all the way across. So the plasma cutter did do a good job because it's cut all the way across and it uh, did a good job. I'm not thinking it's not holding on your side, is it? No. Okay, so let's, can we just pick it up a little bit? Okay, just pick up a little bit. Now we'll just take and set this down here like that. Yeah, and then we'll set that on that square stock. Got it on the square stock? Yeah. All right. Working good? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, you know what? It's kind of in the way to cut that post off. Is it heavy? Do you okay. find heavy? If I, okay, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to come your way, or actually, I'll come your way. Set this on the ground for now. You can see where I messed up. Okay. <laughs> That's okay though. I've, I've messed up before. Man, I like it just like that. <laughs> huh? Chauffeur! <laughs> I'm gonna cut the bottom of these posts off and we'll set it back down on. Oh, just wanna get out of the way of the line of fire. throw anything away not even that don't throw anything away when you're chopping a roof I've been out in that dumpster so many times getting stuff that I've thrown away um, it's quite funny actually Watch. put that back on there Nicely done. Alrighty. Let's throw the roof back on if you want to help me. If you mm -hmm. can. Don't like tape on the floor. Uh, did you hear that? Did you? I cracked in the back three places. <laughs> Must have needed it. So now we're going to throw this back on. Uh, we've cut, we've lowered this four here so it shouldn't look bad as we shove it back on. Shouldn't look bad. Should look like it's been chopped four inches. Man, how you doing, Fane? Huh? <laughs> nice and light, eh? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna. I can walk around there. It'd be nice, but move the welder. Maybe that's what we'll do it. All right. Beautiful. Ooh, that thing's bad already. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Square tubing come far enough ahead just to hit it, didn't it? Yep. See? How far are we? We're about three or four inches away from the roof now, right? Pulled it ahead because we dropped it off. Uh, we can see how, if you want to get your camera, okay. you can see how, we're just going to tack that for now. You can see how choosing the right place to chop it, how well it can come back together. 
basically that's what I'm saying. You can see how it come back together. Just by choosing the right spot in the post, that's basically all you're doing, is choosing the place where it's the straightest. I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and uh, knock a little bit of primer off that, and I'll probably give it a tack there and a tack there, and just leave it for a bit because we got some stuff to do coming back here to pull this thing ahead. Um, as, as this, let's tack that on for a second. Let's behave ourselves and tack it on. Actually, I'm just going to tack it in the middle one spot. That way there we know we can move it. It back on me a little bit. That's all right. Nothing's holding it yet. So we know we've got a four inch chop in the front because of the, of the tape. I don't think it's going back any further. Hope not. Alrighty. I'm going to get Jolene, the Miss Fine Jolene, to help me again. I just want you to hold the other side so it don't take off on us. And basically, just take off is what I mean by just hold it so I get this. You're not going to wrestle me or anything. We're just going to hold it in place and tack it. I'm going to plug the welder back in. All right. I'm just going to get it back on. Looks amazing already, in my opinion. I like, I'm a sucker for a chop car. I've already, said, I've already said it a couple times. I'm a sucker for a chop car. I'm a sucker for a chop car. I mean, I'm just gonna the back. We'll let it go. I'm just gonna tack the front on my side. bad. I'm just throwing a little tack on it. It can come back off. It can, there's many things that can be done. Come around there, welder, please, and thank you. And we're going to tack this side. So this side looks amazing. Ah, come on, Cord. I want you to, we need a little bit of, here, I want you to tack it. Helmet. Yeah. Oops. I'm just going to pull that over a little bit. I could have probably used a little pull over there on that side, but I tacked it. So we're pulling this side and get it so it looks magnificent. All right, just a second. I'm going to get on the other side of you. Just a second. Let me see. Go right there. The middle? Yep. Where it's clean. Beautiful. You are. Tack it again right beside, just another little tack. Make sure we don't take off, just, you know what I mean? Half. Mm -hmm. Man, you're good. <laughs> so, we'll get our, get your, We'll show how it's fitting up. We got it fitting pretty good. We just got it tacked in the center. Come, you can take a look at that if you like. Alrighty, that's that's the start of it. That's the start of it. We've got two pieces of square stock holding it up, and we just matched it up the best we could. And I had to pull on it a little bit. There's a little bit of stretchy poo in each side, you know. Um, this this chop here, we did not have to relief anything, and sometimes you do have to relief your relief your relief your post. Sometimes you have to, but on this one we did not. We had a nice straight area to cut, and we went for it. Uh, what am I going to say now? Oh, on these cars, the flat, the glass can be just made. You take a piece of cardboard, lay it on there, trace it on the inside, get your glass, take it to a glass shop, and they'll cut you a piece of flat glass, safety glass for the front. It's not like not like the the Elvis, not like that. We would never do that. That's, that one's too easy compared to that one. Besides that, we didn't have any glass for that to manufacture it. We had to make it ourselves. But you can see what we got going on here. This is what the chop is. 
What time are we at? 50. 50? Yep. 50. Now, what I was thinking about this part when, I, when we pull this part ahead, now that we've chopped that four, I'm thinking that we're going to get four off of this. I just want to take a marker and mark it just to show whereabouts we're going to be with that. And it's nice to use the car that you're doing, like, you know, to have two or three different cars to, to play with. I, I, want to try, I want to try to make it out of just this car. I don't want to have to go get another car or chop another roof or use another piece. That just applies more money when you start have to have more cars, more pieces. I want to make it out of what we have. And what we have is the door, do door tops and the roof. So what I've got going on here now, four inch chop, so if I went to the bottom of that and I went to a four inch chop, now I'm up here, which is gonna look, it's gonna be a nicer start. It's gonna be a nicer start than having that curl there, which would not work there and, and, and be able to have a window. I'm not saying that I'm putting a window in it, but if it desired a window, we have, we're starting at a good position. Right? We are. Yes, we are. Say we are. Yes, we are. Anyways, here we are. We're at this point now. We've got the roof chopped and we've got this put on. Now we take a pair of vice grips and get our, our uh, window uh, flange locked in and then we would start welding it up. This is the top of the door. Now I have, I have this piece here. Um, it has nowhere to go. When I cut this, this back piece out, it has nowhere to go other than way down here. So what has to happen is, is I'm going to use the door top to make that. So when this comes ahead, when I cut this off, wherever I cut it off, I've got somewhere to match it up to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of the door off here. I'm going to cut that off. Yes, I am. Right. Where did I put them glasses at? And we'll get her. I'll just do it right here. I'm going to cut the top of the door off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lay that in there to show you, to show you what's going on. So I'm just going to take, it's kind of, we'll just take it, we'll take it there for now. turning down there we don't want to well we might want to turn down a little bit but I took it at the, mostly the widest part so in order to get that back on there Cut it off there to start with. Just to start with. I'm using the top of the door. I'm going to weld it along there to match up with this. Okay. It wants to come ahead some. Oh, 
me now. Just trying to match that up in there. Now this piece here, we'd have to get it up far as it can. Go far as heavy. I'm gonna cut some more off in the front there. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit at a time as I'm trying to push it up as I got done there. I need room, we're gonna lay this over. The door is going to go underneath this piece. The, the door is going to roll over underneath that and finish off there. And then the window would have to start back here. I just want to look at this right here for a second. I just want to come up, in the, come up in the back a little bit. That's what I want to do. I want to fit this in the back a little bit. And I want to go ahead a little bit. Just trying to get it to fit the best I can. See the gap there? Just want that up. That's what I want. That's what I want. Just trying to see where I got to cut it. That's all. I'll look at that again. <laughs> I'll look at that again. We have to remember, when I, this is quite a big piece there, so that's going to come way up here. That's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? To get this, to get this roll here, we're going to have to at least come up to here, somewhere where, where I put that. So we're going to be up in there somewhere. So basically, I don't have to get that to fit right. I should get this to fit right in here. And what I'm thinking is, that, I think that's that's fine. I think I, I make a mistake if I'm trying to get this to fit because the roll is not going to go right here. It looks like it's going to come way up here, way right there somewhere. It looks like to me, this piece here, from there, all the way up, least to there. So it's going to go from there, all the way up, least to there. I'm saying. So right about there somewhere. This here, I'm saying this here piece right here, I want to bend the, I want to bend this piece. So I'm going to cut this piece. I'm going to relief it and then bend it a little bit. I'm going to actually, when I relief it, I'm going to be opening this up here a little bit. So it's going to be actually stretching it. So I'm going to be turning it down. So, hmm. I don't know if it's if I want to cut. I don't want to cut it all the way off. I just want it to fit. So I'm happy with this up here. I'm happy with that. I just want to make it fit up the front better. So I'm happy about there. Somewhere I'm happy with that. But when I get this to fit better, um, I'm going to cut it and then add it back together probably. Get that piece to fit in there. So basically what I'm going to do is try to make the door top fit this. Put my marker. And I haven't got that welded back together yet, right? Not all the way, have not, but it, it, I'd say it's pretty close. Stand back and take a look at the roof. I'd hate to make this piece. That looks about right there. As I look at that there, it looks good to me. Looks good. So I'm gonna make this piece fit. I'm gonna go into the biggest part the biggest gap and, and tow that down in. That's what I'm saying. I'd like to leave it connected so I could just fill it. And I can. All I have to do is cut the front. See, I got one piece of metal there. That one piece of metal to cut, I'll just cut the front. Just cut the front.
I made a made a what what's it called? Um, have to take some out of the back. Here we go. Here's what I'm talking about. Now we need room. We need room underneath that door. But you can see what just happened there, as I cut that. Now I can get that tacked up in there. And once I get that one tacked in there, it looks like I might need another one here. But we have this roof coming up here, so it's going to be. But as I put that on there. You can see how if I tack that along there, that gives me a nice gap along there. That's, that's a nice gap to start with. I'm going to need a gap in there. I'm going to have to cap that off and I'm going to have to do the bottom of the door. So there's going to have to be something there. So if I come in there and tack, tack, tack that on there. And I can do the exact same thing there. I'm going to mark it. Just going to mark it. liking that. So I just cleaned up and weld back together to make it look right. Maybe what I could do is weld that now. Just tack. I'm going to do some stuff. What I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do one at a time. We'll get this one top door going and then we'll go from there. Lock the welder in. Just making choices is all I'm doing. I'm basically, uh, I've cut the car cut apart. I'm making choices. Sometimes you make a good choice and sometimes you make a bad choice. And basically that's a part of life. You have to make choices sometimes. And uh, I've, through my life, I've made a lot of choices, good and bad. But uh, that's what it's about, making choices. I'm just going to leave that like that. So that gives me a good, so now I can weld that along there, weld that in there. That'll fit nicely. What I want to do now, and it can be pushed up in there tighter. Yes, it can. Uh, the drip rail on the other side, I cut back a little bit further, so we're going to have to use a little bit of coat hanger trick or whatever. We'll weld that in there like that. We've got a nice little gap going underneath there. We need a piece of metal on the bottom of it and a piece of metal on the top of it, so it's, there's going to be metal at it there. I've got this coming down. don't want it to come down. Got to get that marker. That's what I say, you know, becoming a man is, is part of, is the part of making choices and uh, basically it. I'm going to go right here. I know we're going to leash you there. So I want that up, so, you know. Ooh, right there somewhere. Hmm. See, this is where i got to make a choice. Right. The reason I'm saying there, there's where it's not starting not to fit. So that's where I'm going. Could even come back maybe just a hair more. Just where it's not starting to fit. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I've done on the, this one. I'm going to do it on this one. And the reason I made that choice is because I want it to... I don't want to go back here. This is the reason, the reason I made that choice. I made the choice up there because it, it was the farthest away and I wanted to come in. And this one here is, I made this choice back here because if I cut it back here, well then this still isn't fitting. So I come way back to the beginning, right there, where it fits. I'll come back there and cut that and then I'll bend it up. Because it fits there. I wouldn't want to make, make a choice here. It wouldn't still fit it to there, you know? Kind of look not right.
what I've done there. I've just cut that, cut this straight piece all the way around, and I left this flat piece, because I can bend a flat piece, I just can't bend it when it's on a 90. So we're gonna see what happens here when I put that up in there. And I can get that piece to fit. So basically that's what's gonna happen there. That's tired all the way up in there. It's hard to bleed, I know it's hard to bleed, but it's hard all the way up in there. Now I'm gonna just take and Still pliable, that is. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to tack it on there. I'm going to tack it on there. And uh, that was there. Tack it on there. I can take it back off. Yes, I can. Nope, haven't got the welder plugged in. So now, when I go to do the other side, I know exactly where to cut. You know, basically, I just do one side to do the exact same to the other side. That's basically all I'm doing. And there's nothing. Like even though that I just got it setting on that, still does not mean that the roof goes, that this is different. This is all gonna be the same because this is on the roof. There's nothing changed on this part. Um, this can go up and down still. So it's not affecting anything yet. All I'm doing is applying the top of the door to the roof so we have something to match up to the back window. And they wanna do it the best they can. A little bit of a gap going on there. Just going to tack it on. Get that fitting right. Going to push that up one. on that's hard up on there yes it is now that's hard up on there I'm just gonna leave that for now you can come back here baby see if you want to I know there's a little bit of gap going on there but it's hard up you know it's hard up as far as I can go you know I can't go any higher than it's than it allows me um, this right here is not looking exactly perfect and what I'll do is just take your hammer and you just just tap just beat up on it a little bit you know it's kind of you don't want to see a like a bad spot in that I can see a bad spot in it I'll just tack it together here in the center and then I can take my we're in there a little bit that's nice for welding and then filling it out Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Window is coming here, and hopefully we're running up and catching on to here somewhere to make it flow. All I, that's all I can hope. Hope we can get it to flow. So I'm just going to take my body hammer. I don't want to knock it off, that's for sure. Probably should tack it. But... You just want to make it look right, that's all. Just a matter of hitting with a, just tacking with a hammer. We'll just stick that together right there where it's metal showing. And that's it, just a nice little tack in case anything has to happen. Okay, so basically, I guess that's probably an hour. So we got, we got, uh, basically what we got, the roof is chopped off. We got it laid down for, and uh, we'll have to do the other side. So what I'll do is I'll take, I'm gonna take the top of the door and do the exact same thing I did to that one, 
I knew how long that took me because you, you watched me. Uh, and then we'll leave it. So I'm just going to take that top of the door, cut the front off, cut a little bit off here. I'll split it, make it fit. Then I'll split it, make it fit, cut the back off, and put it on the other side. We'll just tack it on like that. And then when we come back tomorrow, I probably should knock a couple more welds in a couple places because, you know, just tack and it, it, can, it can go places. Um, but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. So tomorrow when we come in, we're going to cut some, we'll cut the, we'll probably cut these off or the, cut the section off. We've got to we gotta cut a section out of this to put it up here. Um, looking at the car, when you look down the side of it, if you look down the side of it, the middle is wider than the back. I possibly could stretch it. I'm not sure if I could stretch it or not to make it work or not. I'm not, I'm not sure. Don't know. I don't know. If I could like pull it out to make it work. Well, I think when I pulled it out, I would make the roof come down. It probably would. The roof looks like it's, it's down a little bit now. It's, not, it's got a flat look to it. It hasn't got the nice roll to it, so it really wants to be up. But we'll think, we'll just carry on. And uh, when I'm sitting quiet and Joey looks over and I'm in a daze, you know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> um, no idle hands because I'm doing something. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Jolene was a lovely assistant today. Awesome. I like that ponytail high. Man, if we can get it to look like that. Ooh. It will not look exactly like that. No, it will not. But it'll be some fun to try to make it look like that. You know, with, with what we have. You know, I don't want to go run and get a bunch of different stuff and try to use a bunch of different things. Just try to make it out of what the car is and just try to manipulate it to make it feel like it's a coupe. So basically the top of the doors will be welded on to the roof to make that line, make it look like that. that the, the top of the, the door will be welded on to the roof. And then that scene there will get filled out and you will never know, like it'll, you'll never know. Um, when the back goes on, then it adds it together and makes that coupe looking thing. And then the top of the window can be square stock, like the, yeah, it can be square stock, just like uh, the Hirohata Merc has, has the square stock chrome going around to make it a, a hard top. You can do the exact same thing with that. 511 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. Everybody taking time writing comments. We've got to show you appreciation. And we're going to give you a hat or a shirt to do that. Bill Wolf. I used to be a werewolf, but I'm okay now. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other build? Man, I got so many builds going, I don't know what other one you're talking about. <laughs> but I, I, like, I like sometimes, you know, doing the, uh, the Bugatti and getting sand and body fill and trying to make things fit and, and doing that sort of stuff. Sometimes it gets to you. I like to, I like to build things. I like to cut things up. It's like I was saying this morning to Jolene, if I had a team that if I just cut a car up and made it look like I, what I want to and someone would finish it, man, that'd be great. Man, I could build a pile of cars. Mm -hmm. I could show you more cars than your, probably your heart would desire. <laughs> but for me to make, do everything and build everything and fill everything and prime everything and paint everything, it's, it really sometimes plays on you because I like building things and I have so many cars in my brain. I have one car that I want to build and um, I would build it all out of trailer fenders. And as I see it in my brain, um, it would be a great welding project for four or five people because that's all it would be is welding. I, I would make something out of them and I would show you a race car that you've never seen before. But anyways, um, what about the other builds? I'll get to them. <laughs> you want to have a shirt of your choice. Thanks for commenting. Have a great day, everybody.